oxygen production offline. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. We are in our Cyclops inside this crazy cave here from last episode. And our oxygen production is offline currently, which is not good. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Let's try to turn on the engine. Powering up. Let's see if that turns on the oxygen. I don't think it is. Okay. I believe we have extra power cells in here. Let's see if we can't replace these. Okay, thank God. I was like, are we about to die down here again? Because it wouldn't be the first time. Let's go ahead and shut this back off because we don't want to waste any more energy. And we will go ahead and turn off the lights in here as well. Well, like I said, we are still down here in the cave and we actually need to get out of here. This place is evil and I don't want to ever come back unless I have to. In fact, uh, I don't really actually remember how to get out of here. I think I do, but we went such a long, far distance just to get down here. I'm going to have to work off memory. Okay, here's the big green waterfall. I think our base is just over here, hopefully. If not, we'll probably die. <laughs> No, I think we're good. We are in the race against oxygen, though. 12 seconds of oxygen left. We are right next to the base. I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll make it. I mean, we just barely made it. That's crazy. Thank you. Well, if you ever wonder if you can make it from all the way there to uh, this location... There you go. It's kind of random, but man, I put that moon pool right over that disgusting water. It's so easy to die from. Well, we're almost to the surface here. Guys, I have a lot of stuff planned for today's episode. We passed by a sort of like weird alien cave system last episode that required a purple tablet to enter into. I want to go back to that, but I also want to do a little bit of exploring around for more racks because I want to find the other part of the drill arm for the prawn suit, which is completely gone now. We're going to have to make another one, but that's okay. Oh, the sun and the sky. This is beautiful. I never thought I would miss this so much. I'm just getting a bunch of uh, coral samples, and I'm going to probably grab just a bunch of salt on the way here. I feel like water is just always a problem for me. Getting food is just no longer an issue with my new blade, but water? I'm always dying of dehydration. I don't get it. This game is impartial towards me. What is this? Copper? Oh, wow. I must have dropped these at some point. All right, we are back at the next base. Are you kidding me? We're out of power here, too. Okay, let's throw this guy in here. That should charge it up a little bit. Well, I didn't realize that our new base uh, actually doesn't have a fabricator, nor does it have lockers to actually store any of our stuff in it. All right, home sweet home. Okay. Thank you. I'll probably craft a bunch of water while I'm here so that I don't die of dehydration while we're out. That's probably a smart idea. And we'll actually put the rest of this water. Oh man, we got to repair this thing. It's kind of broke. We'll put the rest of this water inside this storage here. Maybe we'll throw some coral samples in there too. I don't know. It's probably a dumb way to use this, but... And now we just kind of went ahead in this direction. Wait, did we even grab? We didn't even grab the purple tablet. Hold on. Now, I don't actually remember exactly where this cave was. I'm going purely based off intuition and memory, which is probably going to get me killed, but... Okay, here's that huge wreck we were at last episode, and I didn't remember how to get into it. You know what? While we're here, we can probably just try again. Oh, wow. Here we go. I think we just found an entrance into this. I don't know how I missed this last time. I saw a ladder going down over there. And then we also have this here. So let's pull this laser cutter out. Who knows? Maybe we'll find the uh, other part we were needing. Let's scan this. Prawn suit fragment. Oh, okay. Well, we already got that. Okay. Well, I don't see much more down here. Let's go back through the sealed door. Here's that ladder. Let's go down here. Check this out. Oh, does this go outside? No way. I mean, it's just really hard for me to believe that the only thing in there scannable is the prawn suit. So I think if we head towards life pod 2 from this angle, possibly, we'll run into it. I don't know for sure. Oh, here's another wreck. Have we been in here before? This looks pretty big. Maybe we have. I don't know. Either way, I got to repair this thing. We're on the verge of blowing up. That's for sure. Let's pull out our flashlight here and kind of do some exploring. This is interesting. This is actually pretty big. Okay, I'm not going to go through that sealed door just yet. Uh, let's scan this. Prawn suit. Oh, the drill arm. There it is. That's the second one we needed. Perfect. Awesome. So now we can finally use the drill arm. I mean, we're going to have to actually make another prawn suit now, but that's okay. We can finally get resources in bulk. That's nice. Let's open this door. 
It's from water. You can never turn that down. A lot of uh, crates in here. This kind of reminds me of like the uh, Aurora a little bit. Let's go in here. A lot of cargo. We go down here. Nothing. Again, I was kind of thinking maybe there would be like a PDA in here of some sort. Let's, uh, let's go to the right here. Oh, and this just takes us back outside. A lot of different paths here. Okay, so this brings us back to the main area. What happens if we go in here? Okay, this kind of takes us to a place we haven't been yet. Here we go. Didn't look like there was anything in there. And that's a dead end. Okay. Well, I don't think there's too much more in here. However, that was very much worth it because we got the drill arm. But let's keep heading over towards Life Pod 2 because we're getting closer to the cave that requires the purple tablet. I can feel it. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is where I saw it at. Here it is. Okay, there's the cave right there. I don't know what's behind this door. I just saw it required a purple tablet and I showed up. So let's put this in here and see what happens. Force field control. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Lots of green. What is this? Download terminal. Ooh. We gotta listen to this. Oh, okay. We gotta read it. Alien biological history. Biological? Biological? Oh my god. This terminal contains data mapping the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed. Was grown from seed 1,708 Earth years ago, separated for broodlings early for special training, inducted into Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate, age 96, that is so young. Downloaded a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactory. Relocated to the outer galaxy cluster to support disease research endeavors. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research. Contracted Cara Bacterium. Stored in Sanctuary 3. Corporal body safely disposed. Okay. So is there a body over here? Interesting. Let's scan this. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table, an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. All right, so let's take these. I imagine if we take all four, something's gonna happen, maybe? Nothing, okay. Well, that was interesting for sure. I'm glad we checked that out. I'm curious what, uh, what goes on at these depths here. This looks pretty scary. I mean, we can go 900 meters, so why not, right? Let's see, that looks like sand. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, funny joke. There was nothing down here. There was nothing down here the whole time. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. I did not mean to use that. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm dodging this thing right now. This is what happens when you explore things you have no idea about. You run into those creatures. I mean, I zapped him. I z oh my god. Ow. I meant to take my, like, air thing all the way up to the surface. Oh, man. Is he going to kill me before I get to the surface here? Okay, I'm going back south. That might be why he continues to attack me. That's probably why, actually. Oh, my gosh. That was a huge mistake. We're back at base. 
We're missing a Seamoth and the module's in it. Three days later. Upgrade to Mark II and upgrade to Mark III. Oh my gosh. Well, we're back to where we were once before. This is the fifth Seamoth that we've had so far. And uh, you know what? I'm proud of it. I think five is a lucky number. But uh, to be honest with you, before we go any further, I need to probably repair this thing. It's already hurt. So the next thing on the agenda is to go back to the uh, Degasi habitat over here. There were a couple scannables that we missed inside the habitat you guys said. Whoops. Sorry. Another thing I was thinking about making that I'm honestly super surprised we have waited this long to even think about it. I think it's like a aquarium type deal. I forget what it's called, but uh, you can hatch eggs in it and they'll become passive towards you. I also want to make another prawn suit. Now that we have the blueprint for like mining ore, I kind of want to try it out. Those like huge ores on the on the seafloor always look so much bigger and I can only imagine how much more we can get from those. Let's go ahead and uh, park this guy like right here. This looks hidden enough. And then let's go inside this Degasi habitat. Sea squid. Yeah, I know. I'm here. I'm back. Did you miss me? I know you did. So, I think we need to scan this. Alien containment. There we go. Oh, wow. That's actually literally the thing we were just talking about. Um... I actually didn't even put that together. So I think we should be able to hatch eggs now with that, right? He got mad because I was ignoring him. Okay, so that's good. Let's go check out the bottom floor. I think there's some stuff down here we missed as well. Let's take a look. You know what? I actually think it is on the bottom floor. I think we got to take the ladder up possibly. Oh my God, that scared me. Oh, here we go. Here's the ladder down. Okay, so... Pick up small flask. Oh, okay. I think we actually have one of those. Fluid analyzer. I think we have one of those as well. Microscope. Orange tablet. Whoa. Okay. Fluid analyzer. Another one. We'll take all this stuff. You know, the more stuff to make me look... Um, ooh, creature egg. Okay, we'll take that. The uh, the more things to make me look sophisticated and smart, the more I'll get. And I'll put it all in my base, and if I ever have anybody over, they'll be like, Wow, Zach, you're so smart. You have a bunch of science stuff. Okay, I think that's it for scannables, so I think we are good here. Let's go ahead and turn off the flashlight. We definitely don't want to attract this thing on our way out. Now, I'm actually really curious about... Uh, using that alien containment. I want to hatch some stuff. I really do. In fact, I have a bunch of eggs back at the base. Oh, okay. Turn off the light. Okay, so here's the plan. Let's head back to the base and let's make this alien containment center. Let's put a couple eggs in there because I do have some stored away. Hopefully they don't go bad. And then we'll go ahead and make another prawn suit. And then we're left with the decision. Do we want to take the Cyclops out of the Lost River, or should we make another Cyclops entirely and attach the prawn to that? Now, we don't actually have to attach a prawn suit right away to a Cyclops. I mean, we can just use it standalone. All right. Let's go ahead and park this into our moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now, I think we're going to need four pieces of glass. I'm right about that. Let's go ahead and bookmark this alien containment center here five pieces of glass which means we're gonna need 10 pieces of quartz which is pretty doable i know a pretty good place to get some quartz so let's head there now oh there's a creature egg maybe i'll just start picking up all the creature eggs i find now you know the one thing that i kind of regret about losing that past seamoth uh Let's replace this battery. Hold on. Just in a world of trouble right now. No, but like I was saying, the main thing I regret about losing the past Seamoth is the 15 water bottles we had in there. I spent so much time and resources on that, and it's just all gone. I actually totally forgot about this stuff. These are some of the things that we picked up. Let's go ahead and set these down, make this, uh, you know, a little homey. Can we rotate this? What is this? A coffee maker? Here we go. We can place this right on top of the modification station. There we go. What is this? A fluid analyzer. Okay. And then um, smart people usually have uh, telescopes all over the place, right? I've never been like a scientist house, but if I did, they'd probably have telescopes everywhere. So we'll go ahead and put these telescopes here because we've been just working really hard and exploring and 
investigating different sciences, you know. Hopefully I'm sounding smart. And then let's take this coffee maker and put it right over here. That's not a coffee maker. That's a, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, let's make this extra piece of glass here. And let's take out this battery because we're poor right now. All right, so we got all the necessary resources, I believe. So I think if we make a foundation, okay, it'll let me put one down here. And let's make one more foundation just to be safe. Let's build this. Very cool. And then I want to say we'll be, we'll make like a multi-purpose room. And we'll make that like right here. And then I think we need a tube coming out of it. Okay, let's go ahead and make a hatch like right here. And then does this have power? It does. Okay. And then what if we try to make the uh, alien containment in here? Here we go. Yeah, this is perfect. And then we'll put that little egg. Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Ooh, that's interesting. Now, how do we put something in there? What if we try just putting a hatch on top? No. Can we put a hatch? Oh, here we go. Interesting. I did kind of didn't expect that to work. So we can go in here. Can we put the egg in here? Drop. Now we probably don't want the stalker egg in here, maybe. Yeah, let's drop the stalker eggs in here. They won't kill each other. Look at this little guy. I'm curious what those are going to be. I know it's going to be a stalker, but what about the other thing? So there we go. We got a little aquarium set. I'm excited for these things to grow. I don't know if we actually have to feed it or not, but, um, so the next thing on our checklist and probably the last is I want to make another prawn suit. So let's take a look. Drill arm. So let's pin that and then let's pin the prawn suit itself. I think we're going to the cave system at Life Pod 2 here just because we need lead, lithium, and we need those gel sacks. And those are pretty easy to find down there. All right, so we need to find um, four pieces of lithium, which I just realized, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. Oh, shoot, we need two ingots. Well, that sucks. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Let's make a locker if we can. Is there any quartz around here? I can't remember if quartz is like prevalent. Okay, let's finish building this locker here. Then we can put everything that we had inside this locker, including this titanium. And then we're gonna need to get some more uh, resources, but uh, we're gonna need to drink something here soon. So let me kill a couple things just to please my body. Okay, let's just keep a secret between me and you. Um, I may or may not have died, but the good thing is I am back up on all resources. So I'm not no longer thirsty, but uh, that may or may not have happened due to death. Please be led. Silver, dang it. Silver. Oh my god. Oh, this might be the last thing of lithium. There it is. Okay. You know that thing chased me into there? And uh, I tricked it, and it's been stuck there ever since. So, that sucks. Alright, so we should have all the resources we need in order to make the prawn suit and the respective uh, upgrade to it. So we can mine some stuff. I just gotta head back to the base and craft it. Alright. Helper bots. Do your thing. Make me a prawn suit. And then while they do that, uh, let me just go in here and I will craft the module we need. I think it's, it's either here or the modification station. I totally forgot I completely left the uh, vehicle upgrade console that was originally here. I took it, stole it, and I brought it to the other base. We should be able to make the prawn suit drill arm. That's what it's called. I always forget. Okay, let's head to our prawn suit here. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Wait, no. Don't kill me. I heard it. Let's go to Axis Upgrades and let's put this guy in there. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be awesome. A lifelong question that I've had for so long. How many resources do you get from ore that's on the sea ground? There's probably a way better way to say that. What is the first resource going to be that I 
chop into pieces. Will it be quartz or will it be salt? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm actually unreasonably excited right now. Core ore added to vehicle storage. Oh, wow. This takes a good amount of time to like actually break it down. Three, eight. Please tell me I get 10. Dude, I can't tell if we're still doing it. We still, no. Okay. Dude, you get 11 pieces? First of all, real quick, before I like go ham and just start doing this to everything. Oh, okay. This has a decent amount of storage in it. Dude, this is awesome. Some of these resources that are hard to get, you guys understand, getting copper is kind of hard, especially if you're a noob like me. The only way you get it is through that one crop that you can also get titanium from, so it's always kind of like a 50-50 bet. There we go. Wow. Incredible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to probably call it there for this one. If you liked the video, drop a like. It helps out the channel. I'm a small channel. And if you like content like this, consider subscribing. I think I'm going to probably uh, take this thing down to the Lost River at some point. But until then, I will see you in the next one.